National Nutrition Professional Supplement Reviews. Three minutes of the latest natural health info with Canada's leading natural health experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hello, this is Carlene Kars, registered dietitian and nutrition expert for nationalnutrition.ca. This is a professional supplement review of copper. Did you know that taking too much zinc will cause a copper deficiency? This is because copper is a mineral that balances zinc. And if you have too much zinc, your copper levels will drop and vice versa. Copper is an essential mineral that you need to get through your diet or through supplementation in order to have strong bones, joints, and beautiful skin and hair and nails. You need to supplement with copper if you have a copper deficiency. Low copper levels most often result in anemia, which causes low hemoglobin levels. Hemoglobin is found in your red blood cells and it carries oxygen to all parts of your body, making it vitally important. You will become deficient in copper if your diet is high in processed food, if you're unable to eat a wide variety of foods due to an illness, or you have intestinal absorption problems. You will also become copper deficient if you supplement with too much zinc or if you supplement with zinc for long periods of time without taking copper to maintain balance. Not only is copper an important part of blood, it also works with zinc and vitamin C to form elastin and collagen, which provides structural stability and elasticity to tissues like skin, hair, joints, and bones. This makes copper important in arthritis, osteoporosis, and strengthening skin, hair, and nails. In small amounts, copper also works as an antioxidant through the powerful antioxidant called superoxide dismutase. However, too much copper will become a free radical in the body. As you can see, dosage of copper is very important because you can get too much. The optimum dosage of copper is 2 to 3 milligrams daily. The optimum ratio of zinc to copper is 10 to 15 milligrams of zinc to 1 milligram of copper, which should always be taken together if supplementing for longer periods of time. Copper is found naturally in vegetables, legumes, grains, avocado, shellfish, and organ meats of animals. You will also get copper in your drinking water if your home has copper pipes. It is easy to get enough copper through your diet. However, if you are unable to eat a wide variety of foods, or if you have malabsorption, then supplementing may be important. Copper can be found in tablets or capsules and is often found in multivitamins or in combination with zinc and vitamin C. Citrate or chelate forms are absorbed the best. Doctors practicing complementary medicine recommend taking copper with zinc supplements. It's very important to take copper with zinc and vitamin C to maintain healthy levels of each. Take copper with calcium and other minerals for strong bones. In summary, copper deficiency is caused by poor diet or by taking too much zinc. Copper is also important in arthritis, osteoporosis and for beautiful skin, hair and nails. Take two to three milligrams daily and be sure to take it with 15 milligrams of zinc per one milligram of copper. That's our professional supplement review of copper. Check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, or if you have a question, leave it here. And remember, knowledge is health.